Today's video takes a closer look at four stories around the internet computer. We'll cover a new payments project that wants to rival Stripe, a ledger hardware wallet upgrade designed to make transactions safer, the latest Pocket IC release for developers, and what Vail activity tells us about ICP sentiment. Before we wrap, a quick note, Ledger Life is an independent platform. We don't take sponsor money and we rely on reader and viewer support to keep reporting, researching and producing these updates. If you find value in this content, please consider making a donation. The details are in the description below along with direct links to the projects we have covered today. Now let's get into the first story. There is a new initiative on ICP that's aiming high. The project is setting its sights on becoming a global crypto payments processor, positioning itself against established firms such as Stripe. The ambition is straightforward to create infrastructure that can handle large volumes of transactions while giving merchants lower fees and faster settlement times. What makes this not worthy is the attempt to bridge blockchain with the type of everyday commerce most people are already used to. The vision is that paying with crypto should feel no different from tapping a card at the checkout. That would mean businesses, especially those dealing with cross-border cost, could get faster settlement and avoid the steep fees that still weigh on them today. Supporters of this effort say that ICP's technical design offers a distinct edge. The network's canister-based architecture allows smart contracts to run with low latency, which could help it process transactions more quickly than some rivals. That, in theory, makes it suitable for payments where speed and reliability are essential. Of course, none of this exists in a vacuum. The payment space is crowded and some of the biggest names in tech and finance are already experimenting with blockchain tools. Stripe itself has made moves towards crypto integration and PayPal has been rolling out its own stablecoin. That raises the question of how a new player carves out our space. For all the technology, issues like regulatory compliance, liquidity management and building trust will determine how far it can go. For now, this ICP payments project is at an early stage. The ambition is there and the technical foundations are promising, but success will depend on execution and adoption. What we can say is that the very fact such a project is emerging reflects growing confidence in blockchain's place within mainstream financial infrastructure. Whether it can scale and compete with global processors remains uncertain, but it will be one to watch. Next up, there is good news for Ledger hardware wallet users. A feature developed with Zondax will soon allow users to validate any internet computer transaction directly on their device. This is being called clear signing, and it's designed to solve a problem that has plagued the crypto world for years. Here is how it works. Hardware wallets are often seen as the gold standard for keeping digital assets secure. They achieve this by isolating keys on a trusted device, even if the computer they are plugged into is compromised. The limitation, though, is that their functionality is deliberately narrow. Apps need to go through strict vetting and updates tend to be slow. That's our trade-off for security. Because of those restrictions, many users have resorted to blind signing. That's when you approve a transaction without seeing its details. Blind signing is risky because it undermines the whole point of having a hardware wallet. If you can't check what you are authorizing, malware or a malicious actor could trick you into sending funds somewhere you never intended. This has caused real losses across the sector. Clear signing aims to put a stop to that. On ICP, the feature leverages chain key cryptography, allowing each smart contract to specify exactly how its transactions should be displayed. Those specifications are protected by canister signatures. The ledger device then validates that information and shows the user what they are about to approve in plain detail. The design is scalable with the ability to handle tens of thousands of transactions per second. Developers won't need to reinvent the wheel either since it can be integrated with existing wallet connections. For everyday users, the impact is practical whether you are swapping tokens providing liquidity, lending, or borrowing, you will be able to check the transaction on your ledger screen before confirming. 
This adds a new layer of transparency for ICT users without watering down the strict security model of hardware wallets. It's a step that could restore confidence, particularly among those who move larger amounts of tokens and need certainty before signing. For developers, there's been another update worth noting. Pocket IC has released version 10 of its server, together with compatible updates for Rust, Python, and JavaScript libraries. The headline feature is support for bootstrapping system canisters during instance creation. What does that mean in practice? When creating a Pocket IC instance, users can now enable core internet computer features from the start. These include DNS registry, governance, cycles minting, ICP ledger and index, cycles ledger and index, SNS and internet identity. If a feature isn't required, its canister simply won't be deployed. This flexibility means developers can set up tailored environments without extra manual steps. Another addition is the known mainnet configuration option. This allows different ICP configuration flags to be set during instance creation. If nothing is specified, mainnet configuration stays as a default. The result is greater flexibility for developers who want to test under different conditions. On the practical side, Pocket IC 10 also provides a full set of binaries for both Linux and Mac OS covering x86-64 and ARM64 architectures. That makes it easier to spin up environments across systems. The big benefit here is reduced friction. Developers won't need to manually manage system canisters just to set up a test. They can simulate scenarios locally, experiment with different configurations, and only move to mainnet once they are confident. It's a move that should speed up development cycles and make ICP testing more accessible. Finally, let's look at what's been happening with ICP whales. While retail sentiment around internet computer has been close to rock bottom, larger holders have been doing something different. Data from IC Terminal shows that wallets holding between 10K and 100K ICP have added around 1.4 million tokens over the past three months. Their combined holdings now exceed 82 million ICP. That steady accumulation contrast with the louder mood on social media. The project often gets painted in extremes with detractors pointing to governance complexity and centralization concerns, while supporters highlight the range of applications running on-chain. The truth, as usual, is more nuanced. The broader issue for crypto remains utility. Despite billions flowing into meme tokens that produce no real service, there is still a question of how useful blockchain projects are in practice. ICP has an answer here. With functioning smart contracts, decentralized storage, and governance tools that work. But utility alone doesn't guarantee adoption. Markets are driven by narratives as much as by working infrastructure. ICP has struggled at times to cut through and build the story that attracts wider recognition. The whales' decision to keep adding to their stack suggests a longer term bet. They appear to believe that working infrastructure will eventually be valued more highly than speculative noise. Whether that conviction pays off is uncertain. What can be said is that some of the biggest holders are quietly positioning themselves for the future, even as sentiment drags near the bottom. That wraps up the stories for this update. From ambitious payment processors to hardware wallet upgrades, developer tools, and whale activity, ICP continues to evolve on several fronts. Whether it's about making crypto payments seamless, securing transactions at the hardware level, or simplifying developer workflows, these developments are shaping how the internet computer is used and perceived. As always, the real test will be adoption and trust. Technology alone is not enough, but with projects pushing ahead across different layers of the ecosystem, ICP is still moving forward, even against the backdrop of skepticism. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please consider supporting Ledger Life so we can keep providing independent coverage. Details are in the description along with links to everything we have discussed.